Actually, RBST is an artificial growth hormone given to some cows, but not the cows that make Arla cheese. No added hormones, no weird stuff. Arla, live unprocessed. Yes. Actually, xanthan gum is an additive found in some cream cheese, but it's not an Arla. No artificial additives, no weird stuff. Arla, live unprocessed. This type of advertising campaign seems to always neglect to mention that dairy is one of nature's hormone delivery systems by default and contains naturally occurring hormones such as prolactin. Steroids including estrogens, progesterone, corticoids, and androgens and other important hormones such as insulin-like growth factor 1 and prostaglandins. Even in skim milk, you can't separate the hormones from the dairy. It's interesting to look at their marketing strategy. They identify with the natural and organic segment of the dairy product market. They claim that it's free from antibiotics and synthetic hormones, and that may be true. Notice how they say no significant difference has been shown between milk derived from cows treated with the hormones and cows not treated with the hormones. Hmm. So if there's no difference between cows with the hormones or without the hormones, then I guess it's not that much of a selling point. <laughs> so this is just kind of funny. Arla Foods, the maker of Live Unprocessed Cheese, got sued by the maker of the hormone RBST over blatantly and egregiously false claims. Eli Lilly is the company that makes RBST, and they came they came in their brief with with this whole thing about Arla's Live Unprocessed webpage repeats the false claim that RBST is is weird stuff. <laughs> RBST is not dangerous. It's not something sh consumers should fear. <laughs> this is just just funny. I wanted to share that too. Let me close this out by saying, isn't cheese a processed food to begin with? So how's your advertising campaign going to be live unprocessed when you sell processed food? I mean, am I missing something? Come on now.